Hey guys, I'm Sky, and welcome to 30 Minutes of Yoga for Flexibility, the perfect way to target the hips, the glutes, the thighs, and the legs, creating strength, mobility, and flexibility. So without further ado, let's start by coming into tabletop position. We're gonna flow through cat-cow here, so inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, push up, round the spine, pushing the back away from the floor, spreading the shoulder blades wide. Inhale, lower to cow. And exhale, pushing up into cat. Just flowing through the two with your own breath, making the movement nice and slow. And just creating warmth in the spine, preparing for the next 30 minutes of yoga. Feel free to create a little bit more movement here, maybe rotating clockwise and anti-clockwise, or just flowing through a simple cat and cow. Going for two more rounds. Last one. And come to neutral spine and then send the hips back coming into extended child's pose. When you're here, we're gonna push forward, bringing the hips down to the mat, chest stays lifted. Then slowly push back to extended child's pose. Connecting the two movements. So inhale forward, open up. Exhale, back into extended child's pose. Taking the hips forward and down, and then slowly pushing all the way back. Let's go for one more. Inhale as you push forward, feel it in the hips. Exhale, push back, extended child's pose. Then when you're ready, coming back up to tabletop position. We're gonna go for some hip circles here. So taking that right leg out to the side and back and round. Creating nice big circles here, waking up the hips, creating some warmth here. Making the circles as big or as small as feels good for you. And let's go the other way. Remembering to keep the knee bent and take them as slowly as feels good. And release that leg down. Give the hips a little wiggle before we go over to the other side. When you're ready, right leg goes out to the side and back and round. Nice big circles. Trying to keep the spine and the body straight and just working on that left hip here. Making the circles nice and big. And let's go the other way. Bring in the foot round and forward. Feeling a nice hip stretch here. And release. Give the hips a little wiggle, a little shake. And then when you're ready, we're gonna go for some donkey kicks. So starting with the right leg, send that right leg up into the air, keeping the knee bent. We're just gonna pulse here. So activating the glute and the thigh keeping the body nice and straight. Then taking the leg out to the side, we're gonna bend and extend here. You'll feel this in your thigh, so just keep active. And release, good job. Let's take it over to the left side, so donkey kicks. Keeping that leg lifting, pulsing as high as you can go active glutes 
then out to the sides. So bend and extend from the knee. Out, in, out and in. One more. And release. Good job. Shake and wiggle. Feel it in the glutes. Waking up the glutes. Then when you're ready, we're going to go for some big full body circles here. So taking the hips down to the, the heels, up along that left side, and then slowly pushing back along that right side. So just feel into this movement here, bringing the hips nice and low, then pushing them back round. Doing this as big and as slow as possible using your arm strength to keep the body lifted as you come forward. And let's go the other way. Let's connect the breath. So inhale as you push forward and exhale as you push back. Let's go for one more circle. Then when you're ready, push your body forward, tuck the toes and send them hips high, coming into our first downward facing dog. Making sure the fingers are spread nice and wide, spine stays nice, nice and straight. Feel free to create a little bit of movement in your downward facing dog, especially if you have tension in your hamstrings today. So pedaling out the feet, swaying side to side, whatever you need. Just taking a moment to breathe. Inhale through the nose and exhale, release. When you're ready, send that right leg up into the sky, three leg dog. Bending at the knee and opening the hips, stacking that left hip on top of the right hip, really open up here. Hold, and then when you're ready, step that right foot forward to the outside of the palm and drop the back knee down to the mat. Coming into lizard pose. Here, adding a little bit of pressure onto that knee, pushing the leg away from you. Creating a deeper stretch here in that right hip. If this is too much, just keep the palm on the floor. And release, tuck the back toes, downward facing dog. Onto the other side, three leg dog, inhale. Bend that left leg, open the hips, stacking left hip on top of right hip, really open up to that left side. And when you're ready, stepping the foot to the outside of the palm, dropping the back knee down, lizard pose. Either staying here or taking the left palm onto the knee, pushing the knee away from the body. Nice and gentle. Opening up the hips here. And release. Take the palms to the floor, tuck the toes, send the hips high, down dog. Take a breath here. Inhale, send that right leg high. Step the foot forward, this time between the hands, dropping the back knee, low lunge. Chest stays lifted here. Inhale. Exhale, pull back, half split. We're gonna flow between the two, so inhale, push forward, low lunge, this time lifting the arms up. Then exhale, pull back to half split. Flow nicely between the two. 
making sure to keep the spine nice and straight when you come into half split and flexing that foot. Inhale forward, low lunge. Exhale back, half split. Push forward to low lunge and hold it here. Inhale. And then exhale, slowly pull back into half split. Flexing the feet and making sure that the spine stays nice and straight. If you want a deeper stretch here, bring the chin to meet the knee. And when you're ready, push forward and send the hips high, stepping back to downward facing dog. Take a moment before we go to the other side. When you're ready, inhale, left leg high, three leg dog. Step in the foot between the hands. Let's go to low lunge. Keeping the chest lifted nice and high. Hands stay on the mat. Inhale here. Exhale, pull back, half split. Inhale, push forward. Arm goes up to the sky. Then exhale, half split. Flex in the foot. We're gonna work on the hip flexors as we push forward and the hamstrings as we pull back. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, half split. Flowing nicely between the two. This time, inhale, low lunge and hold. Inhale here. Take the hands to the mat. And then exhale, slowly pull back to half split. Remembering if you would like a deeper stretch, take the chin to meet the knee. Hold it here. And then when you're ready, slowly push forward to low lunge and step back into downward facing dog. Nice work. Take a moment here when you're down dog. And when you're ready, lower the feet, lower the knees to the mat, extend the child's pose. Just taking a moment here to recenter yourself, reconnect to your breath before we go again. Take one big inhale here. And exhale, release. Slowly pushing forward, tucking the toes back into downward facing dog. Right leg lifted. Step that right foot forward, low lunge. We're going to work on the quad stretch here. So we're going to bend that right knee and see whether you can take a hold of your foot and bring it towards the glute. Now, if you have tight quads, this isn't going to be accessible for you. So just try to keep the knee bent if that's good. If you can bring the foot to the glute, hold it here. And release. Hands to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. And let's go the other side, left leg high, step through, low lunge. Again, quad stretch, so bending the right knee, taking the left arm back to meet the foot and seeing whether we can get the foot to meet the glute here. Really stretching that quad muscle. Do whichever variation feels good for you here. Either bent knee or taking a hold of the foot. And release, step back to down dog. Good job. Breathe here. Inhale, send that right leg high, three-legged dog. 
open in the hips, bend in the knee and step that right foot through. This time come into high lunge. So inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend into that front knee. Nice and strong on the back leg. And just creating a little bit of movement here. And when you're ready, bring that back leg in one step and fall down, come into pyramid pose. Feeling a nice hamstring stretch here. If it's too much, then bring the distance between the feet a little bit closer. And breathe here. Slowly walk the hands forward and pushing into standing split. Left leg goes high. If this is good for you, stay here. If you want more, bend that left knee, keeping the right hand on the floor, slowly peeling open, sending that left arm into the sky, opening the hips to that left side. Hold and balance. And release, step back into downward facing dog. Nice work. Remembering to choose whichever variation feels good for you and listening to your own body. When you're ready, left leg high. Bend in the knee and stepping the foot forward between the hands. Inhale, come up into high lunge. Exhale, bending into that front knee. Nice and strong on that back toes. Spine stays nice and straight. And when you're ready, step that back foot in and slowly fold forward, pyramid pose. And go as deep as feels good for you. And hold it here. Breathe. And then slowly walk your hands forward, push the body forward and lift that back leg high. Stand and split. Either choosing to stay here or coming on to one hand, opening up to that right side. Focus and hold. Breathe. And when you're ready, release. Bring the hands back down. Step back, both legs into downward facing dog. Breathe here. Creating movement or stillness, whatever you need. And then when you're ready, bend the knees, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Chin to chest, slowly roll all the way up to standing. Inhale, take a big breath in, send the arms to the sky. Palms to touch and exhale, hands to heart. Now we're going to take a wide stance, so facing the side of the mat. Bring the toes so that they're pointing inwards. We're gonna go for wide leg forward fold. So open the chest, take the hands to the hips, inhale here. And as you exhale, let the chest guide the body all the way down. Bringing the fingertips to the big toes and trying to pull the body all the way down to the mat. Going as far as feels good for you. If it's too much on the hamstrings, then feel free to micro bend the knees. Hold it here for one breath. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly and mindfully take the hands to the hips and come all the way back up. We're gonna do the same again, but a different variation. So inhale at the top and exhale, fold forward. This time, slowly walking your hands over to that left leg. 
either keeping the palms on the mat or on the ankles, feeling a left hamstring stretch. Hold it here. And then slowly walking over to the right side. Breathe and hold. The more we relax in these deep stretches, the better the stretch. And then coming back to centre and slowly lifting the body all the way up. Here we're going to heel toe the feet in slightly, this time keeping the toes pointing outwards for goddess pose. Take the arms out wide, inhale, exhale, bend the knees. Create a little bit of a pulse here, so slowly going up and down in goddess pose. Spine stays nice and lifted, nice and straight. Breathe and hold for two, And release, bringing the hands to the hips, inhale here. And then we're gonna exhale, bend the knees and lower down. This time taking the hands to the knees and slowly bringing the right shoulder to the left knee and back up. Left shoulder to right knee and up. Hold. And go again, bending into the left side and into the right side. Back to center and release. Nice work, feel the thighs on fire. Take a big breath here, exhale, lower into goddess. This time lifting one heel off the floor, one by one. Left heel and right heel. One more, both sides and release. Good job. Take a moment here before we go for one more. Inhale, exhale, lower. This time lifting both heels off the floor. Hold, balance, breathe and release. Good job. Heel toe the feet together slightly so that they become hip width distance apart. We're gonna interlace the fingers behind the back, roll the shoulders away, inhale, open the chest, and exhale, slowly fold forward. Trying to bring the hands over the head as far as feels good. Creating a little bit of a micro bend in the knees if you have tight hamstrings and release the hands back down to the mat. Let's come to face the top of the mat. Slowly walk the hands forward and coming back into downward facing dog. We're gonna go for a pigeon pose here. So inhale, send the right leg high, then bring in the shin behind the hands and extending that left leg back. Choosing variation one, which is keeping the chest lifted high or lowering all the way down to the mat. Depending on how your hips feel here, will depend on whichever variation you choose. Just listen to your body. And then release, coming back into downward facing dog. Let's go on the other side when you're ready. Bringing that left leg forward to pigeon pose. Choosing whichever variation is good for you. And be mindful to keep this hips nice and square, not rolling over to the left side or over to the right side. Breathe and hold. And gently when you're ready, push back up, tuck the toes and step back to downward facing dog. When you're ready, 
bending the knees, this time crossing the legs over and coming to sit on your bum. Take a hold of the knees and slowly roll down all the way to the mat. We're gonna go for bridge pose here, so keeping the feet almost so that your fingertips can touch. Then when you are ready, we're gonna inhale Exhale, send them hips high, push and squeeze the glutes, squeeze the thighs. Lifting the chest off the floor too, maybe interlacing the fingers. Hold it here. Inhale. Exhale, slowly release. We're going to do the same again, this time bringing the feet together, knees apart. Take a big breath in and exhale, lift nice and high, glutes, legs and chest off the floor, hold and release, feel it in the thighs, bring the knees to the chest, let's go for a nice knee hug. Maybe creating a little bit of movement here, rocking from side to side. Massage in the lower back. Then when you are ready, extend the legs back down to the mat. We're gonna work on the hamstrings here. So inhale, send that right leg up to the sky, left leg stays to the floor. Take a hold of the leg, maybe at the ankle, calf or thigh and start to apply a little bit of pressure, pulling that leg towards your body. Remembering to listen and not going too far. If you want a little bit more, lift the chin up towards the knee. Remembering to keep that left leg glued to the mat. And release. Slowly lower that left leg down and bring the knee in towards the chest. Give it one nice big tight hug and extend that leg back down. Let's go over to the left side. Inhale, left leg high. Find wherever feels good for you and gently begin to pull that leg towards your body. Stay in here or bring in chin to meet the knee. Hold that leg, feel it in the hamstrings. Keeping that right leg down to the mat. Breathe and hold. And bend in the knee, hug that knee towards the chest. Nice and tight. And release. Bring both knees up into tabletop. We're gonna go for happy baby. So take a hold of the toes. Send the knees wide to the armpits. And play around with your happy baby. Maybe rock from side to side, nice and slow. Extending the legs and bending them. Playing with the ankles, whatever feels good for you in this hip opening, relaxing asana. Whatever you need here, allow yourself. For one more breath. Slowly bring the legs together, knee hug one more time. Then when you're ready, take your hands behind the knees and slowly begin to rock up, coming into a seated. This time bringing the feet together for butterfly, so spine stays nice and straight. Let's begin to flutter the legs up and down. Feeling it in the hips here. Breathe. 
then taking the right hand to right knee let's push that knee down really feeling it in the right hip nice deep stretch then let's go the other side left side open up the hips and release slowly bring the knees together give the knees one last hug and then let's come to a seated position for two final breaths to end today's yoga session inhale take the arms up exhale release one more inhale arms up palms to touch and exhale hands to your heart where I want to thank you for joining me in today's flow. Namaste. I hope you've enjoyed today's flow. If you did and want to see more, feel free to subscribe. And if you are a beginner, you might want to watch these videos next. I hope to see you in the next flow. Bye.